welcome to the Marine Channel from Dusseldorf. I'm going to show you a, an electric boat today, and not only electric, it's actually foiling as well. So a really advanced technological boat. This is the Eldorado 8S. This is the very first boat off their production line. There was a prototype, but this is the very first one um, which is being sold, and this is actually already sold. Um, amazing boat. Weight is key to its performance and its abilities. The whole boat is carbon, apart from these foils and legs, which are aluminium. They can be made out of carbon, but it's a very complex procedure and obviously very expensive as well. So if we look at the foil itself, the main foil is at the aft end of the boat, which is quite unusual for the few foiling boats there are around. And the center of gravity is actually here, which means that if it does um, fall or anything like that, it's going to land on its stern, which is better from a safety point of view and protects that uh, foil at the front, which we'll go and have a look at in a minute. The props, if you look at the props, quite different to your normal prop, and those have been designed especially for this purpose. Forward facing, a bit like IPS, I guess, because there's an 8% efficiency in doing so. Let's wander forward. Now, Eldorado don't actually, they're not a boat builders technically, but they are producing this because it matches with their technology set. Um, this whole boat was designed by a computer, but what they do offer is a platform. So this boat can be bought as a platform rather than a finished boat. And we've got a guy at the moment who uh, has a 110 meter super yacht, wants a foiling tender for it, so they're supplying a platform and his designer is going to build a matching boat to his main ship, the mothership. Let's have a quick look at the front foil. You've got two foils there, either side of that leg. And if you did hit anything, it's designed to fold up so it'll be safe in terms of any collision. Also, what we've got here, if you see this little thing here, that's actually a sensor which measures the depth of the water, or I should say the height off the water, and everything is controlled around that. So a very, very sophisticated system controlling the boat's flight, angle, pitch, um, and just overall performance. Let's go and have a look on board. Okay, so here we are, and the first thing we have is the Eldorado platform, which actually folds up, just comes up here, and forms the transom. And you can't actually move the boat without that being folded up, so really clever system there. Under here you've got some little shoe storage lockers, and if we go on, the first thing we've got obviously is this great sun pad and under there are actually the batteries for the boat. But if we just look at the side, we've got a cup holder, and this is also the charging point. So this boat has a two-phase slow charger, and they've done that because most marinas are fitted with slow chargers. But if you are lucky enough to have a fast charger, they can install a fast charger for you. Now, under here, these sections here, are the actual motors. Also, this is the space that the aft foil retracts into. So all the kind of important power bits are under there. So if we go forward again, a really cool feature as well, I just lift this up. Under here, we've got a couple of drinks chillers and your glass storage. And this one is nice and cold and also touch control. So you can adjust the temperature of your champagne with a touch of a hand. Okay, let's go through onto the boat itself. Now, it's a very cool cockpit, and this is only designed as a day boat. It's no accommodation on here, so it is just kind of a funky day boat. Let's just look back here. We've got a really nice bench seat, which you'd certainly get three or four on. And then we've got these inevitably carbon 
seats here, which look like something out of a race car. Flip up bolster so you can stand up. And then we've got the helm. But before we do that, I just want to quickly come down here because look at these really cool fender storage. And these clip off here and those clip on the side. So you know tying on of fenders, you just clip those on, which is really cool. And then they're just adjusted by pulling that line. So it goes up or down. So real ease of use. Now this is a bit of a party boat and because it's so quiet, you can have a really good sound system in here. Before we look at the dash, let's have a look just up on the bow there. You can see the carbon mat there. Right, let's have a look here. Here, everything controlled from screens, and we'll have a look at those in a second. Wheel, and fairly traditional looking throttles, one for each motor there. Quite a simple helm station, but very cool and funky. Right, let's have a look at these screens. So three screens, let's go through them. So this one is more traditional engine and performance data. So here we've got the speed, and if you tap that, you can flick from miles per hour, knots, meters per second, or kilometers. We've got the range, and if I just put that into miles, I'm going old school. So we have a 47 mile range, battery charge, We've got the RPMs of both engines, we've got the kilowatts being used, and here we've got neutral cruise or flying or foiling. So that's that. I'm going to come over here first. So this one is, I hope you can see it, it's quite a bit of a light on there, I don't know whether you can actually see that. So that's navigation, or we can flick it to the sound system, or back to navigation. And there it is. You can see that we are in Dusseldorf. Now this one is your systems. So home, this controls the platform going up and down. If I look here, we've got the controls for all our lights, whether that's interior or nav lights. Here we have the profiles, a bit like your phone. So you set it up for your own um, particular preferences. And here we've got the setting screen. Now this is all um, linked back to the factory, so if you ever had a problem, they would actually know before you would, and they can do updates over the air, so you can have the whole system updated without actually having to have a technician come down. So very cool and very futuristic, dare I say, but a very nice system. Right. So a very cool and a very futuristic boat. Just a few things to say. The um, whole boat is customizable. They build them effectively to order and they build them effectively on a platform. So if you think about that internal cockpit space, it can be whatever you want. And they've had several customers talking about their own specific ideas for what that could look like. Um, just to go through the numbers, it's an electric boat. Everybody wants to know its range and speed. So its range is about 40 miles. Um, as you saw on the screen there, it was actually saying 47, maybe 40, slightly conservative. Flight speed is about 38 knots maximum, and it will start to fly at 17 knots. So pretty respectable speeds, and obviously everything is done very quietly. The big one, of course, how much does it cost? Well, it's 425,000 euros. That's as you see the boat here. Depends what you want doing to it, as it is customizable. As I said, they will do it as a platform only. So if you don't want it as a finished boat, you just want a platform which you can then give your naval architect free reign as to what he might want to do with it. Sorry, going up again. Um, that would cost you 250,000. So you've got options there. And if you don't like the look of this one, design your own, match it to your boat. Hope you've enjoyed this, something really special and something different. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button and we can let you know when any new videos come up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.